video game addiction. Leave me alone! My 14-year-old son, Nico, is absolutely addicted to his video games. Hell yeah. We got a gamer in the house. I mean, I, I can't blame this kid. I play some games, you know? A couple hours a day, at least. I really don't want to totally burn one of my gamer brothers. I guess we'll have to see what happens. He'll be on this device for 17 hours a day sometimes. 17 hours a day? I mean, I'm just impressed. I asked you hours ago to clean up that mess. What's Let going me on? Get the f him now! Alright, so I was on board. I was gonna be on this kid's side, you know? I understand. We got a game. This gamer's got a game. But then you're screaming at your parents like this. You can't be screaming at your parents like this. Get out! Stop it! Dr. Phil, why you gotta do my boy Nico like that? You got a shot of him with his titties hanging out? That's embarrassing. Get out! Get off. Right the f now! Okay. <laughs> Screaming and cussing at your parents because they won't let you play 17 hours of video games a day? Really? Really, kid? Come on, dude. He will destroy everything in the house, anything in his path. So not only does he yell and scream and do nothing but play video games, he also destroys things. What is my computer? Some classic gamer rage. He gets what he wants by bullying us and terrorizing this house. I mean, it sounds like there's some really terrible parenting going on here. This kid uh, clearly has some mental issues, maybe some brain damage. Stop it, Nico. Okay, definitely some brain damage. I think he just destroyed a thousand brain cells with his phone. <coughs> maybe a little bit of autism. I don't know what that screech was. <coughs> Nico is not in school right now. He wants to be a YouTuber when he gets older and he doesn't need school. What is this? Is this what Jake Paul's teaching kids? You don't need to go to school, you can just be a YouTuber? Is he watching Jake Paul? Maybe that's his problem. I'm disabled, I'm in a wheelchair and there's not much I can do. He'll strike out and he'll hit me. Physically, I'm no match for him. Oh, it's already bad enough for you to treat your parents like this, but then your mom's disabled, like she's helpless, and you're just laying on the couch even more helpless than the lady that's missing a leg. He's a big kid and I have one leg. There's not much I can do. I have had my nose broken three times. I am about to break your nose like I did. You did nose broken three times? And homeboy's threatening to do it again? You're physically abusing your crippled mother. <laughs> what? <laughs> this might be the single worst child I've ever seen on this show. When he starts getting into a rage and getting violent. When he starts getting into a rage and going violent, I just walk away and hide. It seems like the best solution as the father figure. I go upstairs in my, my studio, my music room. I just go to my beat laboratory and bang on my drums. You're not going to school, so you're basically just sleeping, eating, playing video games. Yeah. Just sleep and eating and playing video games. He's like one of those sarcastic t-shirts that says eat, sleep, game. It's like the living embodiment of that shitty t-shirt. I shouldn't even have to bribe you to take a shower. I shouldn't have to pay you. So apparently the mom's trying to get homeboy to take a shower and she's like bribing him with money. Take a shower. Please. I can't! Why can't you? I mean, you have two legs, right? You're not getting anything until you do what you need to do, which Why? is take a shower. Okay, so notice this. She sets down the rules. She says, you're not getting what you want until you take a shower. Okay, that's good. That's a good plan. Let's see how it works. So in the end, I allowed him to um, get the small things that he wanted. Yeah, it it didn't work. She just let him have it anyways, because he knows if he whines and complains enough, he gets his way. And he's going to take a shower in two hours. It's a big doubtful for me. I, I don't see that shower happening. It's now 3.45 mm -hmm. and you promised me at 2.30 you would take a shower. I forgot. Oh yeah, classic case of sitting on my ass all day playing games and forgot to take a shower. Mom, I'm in the on. middle of something I can't right now. I mean, clearly he was busy. You know, you gotta get those dubs in Fortnite. Mom, I'm in the middle of something. Do you not understand that you can't pause an online game? Okay, I'm wrecking noobs. Pussy Slayer 69 isn't gonna live up to the name if I'm not slaying pussy online. Come on, Mom. <laughs> that face. <laughs> Dude, he looks like a vegetable. Just vegged out. You're engaged an hour or two. Right. And you have it the other 22. All right, yeah, it makes sense. If he's there for, I think it's 24 hours in a day, if he's there for two hours, then she has the other 22, right? More, I don't sleep. I don't sleep. I'm an insomniac. Okay, 
Uh, so she's engaged for 24 hours. Jeez, Dr. Phil, you sold her short two hours. Well, get, do the math. I said you yeah, have it the 20, other 22. 20, 20, are, yeah. are you oppositional Sometime, as well? Do you argue with everything? Yes, I do. Oh, damn. Dude, he's actually mad. He's actually mad with her. I think Dr. Phil's kind of getting over it. Like, he's tired of taking people's shit. I've been you, in the legal field for 38 years. I'm you, sorry. Yeah, me too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> He's mad, dude. That's awesome. And Sorry, I can win, I so just don't bother. I'm not trying to argue, Dr. Phil. I'm not. Please. Yeah. Oh, man, she got so shut down. That's great. Yes, I feel like I'm addicted to video games. <sighs> video game addiction. I mean, I think, I think it's a real thing, but you have to realize everything's an addiction if you do it too much. And you have to do everything in moderation. I mean, you could be addicted to anything literally i stay in here you playing games and stuff about 13 or 14 hours every day i mean I'm, I'm just impressed you know that you could be this terrible of a human when you get this much time to do whatever the hell you want i mean i don't have that much free time but i'm still here making a youtube video instead of playing video games i mean i, I kind of wish i was playing video games i don't really exercise i don't hang out with friends outside or anything no these uh these facts aren't very shocking when this kid grows up, he's gonna look like that World of Warcraft player, like the South Park World of Warcraft guy. It's literally what he looks like. I don't want to go to school because it's just boring. Well, that's a good enough reason. It is pretty boring. You shouldn't have to go. Solid argument. Don't raise your hand at me. Don't raise your hand to me. And then get the out. Don't throw anything. One boy's like Batman, throwing Xbox controllers like batarangs. And pushing me, pushing me as in saying, "Get off, Nico, take a break." Blah blah blah. <laughs> God, my mom's so annoying. She says, Nico, it's been three days and you haven't stopped playing games. Can you just like stop for a second? And I'm like, stop bothering me, mom. If you don't leave me alone, I swear to God. Oh my God, what a nasty human being, dude. They keep bugging me, I will blow up. I don't want it. I need to know. I'm a second away from throwing this right at your face. Oh man. <laughs> He's really hanging out with those titties, dude. Oh my god, I can't take him seriously. He's trying to be aggressive and scary, and all I can see are those floppy titties. I broke this controller by throwing it across the room because I was angry. Damn, that's a real man move. That's a boss move. Really assert your dominance by breaking your own Xbox controller. Genius. I'm excited to meet Dr. Phil. I would ask him how he can change my anger. I mean, at least he realizes that he has an anger issue and wants help. That's the only good thing I can take from this. Threatening to smash her in the face with your controller. How do you feel afterwards? feel really bad about it. Then why do you keep doing it, dude? You must not feel that bad. Nico, you don't Just tell me- let me play, Kathy! Damn it, Kathy. Just make me pizza rolls and shut your damn mouth. Who do you think you're talking to? You're the one who's Making me even more mad for f sake. Leave me alone. Damn, dude, he's almost about to judo chop her. Holy cow. That's actually intimidating. I'm already pissed off enough, Why? Kathy. Leave me the f alone. <laughs> he's like, he's like an angry Italian mob boss, but all he does is play video games. Nico, what is going on? I don't want to talk about it. What is going on that's I making you like this? Why now, I've seen some gamer rage in my days. I, I really have, but uh, this takes it to like a whole new level. How you doing in school? Somewhat good. He's <laughs> he, he literally says somewhat good, but he's shaking his head no. Like he knows he's lying and he does like a tick. And whenever he lies, he shakes his head no. Dad, you better not hit me. She's recording you. I don't care. Keep your mouth. I really don't think you should beat your kids. You, you shouldn't beat your kids. I'm not encouraging this behavior. There's probably better ways to go about parenting, but uh, well, let's be honest, this kid needs a shit beat out of him. Get out! Dude, if I ever, ever screamed at my dad like that, he would smack me across the face. Get out. Stab him. Did he say he would stab him? Leave him alone. Get out of the room. Get out of the room. You sleep soundly knowing your son wants to stab you in your sleep. You. So we don't have like much context for this video. Apparently they're in a car and there's an altercation. He takes his phone from him and uh, 
he has the best comeback to him to hit. He has the best comeback to him getting his phone taken away. I'm gonna try you. You know what? Yeah. Give me this. Got my other one, dumbass. Correct, <laughs> dude. He's got his other one, dumbass. All this is Give gone. me my backpack. Give All me this is my backpack. Get off of me. <laughs> so he just takes the whole backpack. I mean, that's a fair move. I still got my hand. Don't you? Don't just slap anything out of my hand. <laughs> then he goes for the camera. Damn, boy. You know what? <laughs> both of you. I'm leaving. <laughs> F both of you. I'm out. <laughs> I can't imagine why this kid's spinning out of control. Yeah, I mean, uh, clearly there's no authority around here. This kid just does whatever he wants. Uh, the dad only has spurts of anger, which only encourage the kid to do the same. I was raised, I saw a lot of violence when I was young. So apparently the dad's traumatized, has Vietnam War flashbacks or something, I don't, I don't know. After the show, he passed out. We've been doing this for two years. When he gets either enraged or stressed, he goes unconscious. And that seems like a serious medical condition. Can you hear me, Evo? Can you talk? Evo? Look at that face, dude. He's like, where am I? Who are you? What the hell's going on? He is checked out. Dr. Phil has given us an amazing gift we could never hope to achieve. Yeah, send him to the ranch. We're gonna send him to the ranch because that solves everything. You're gonna be going to this facility. Just send him to the ranch. Wait, so I'm going away. You're gonna go with these people to this facility. To the ranch. Take him to the ranch. Take him to the ranch. Get off your devices and yeah. stop relying on them and start yeah. enjoying life again. See, that sounds really good. He does need a break from devices. He needs to learn how to enjoy life without them. I think this is actually probably the best thing they could do for him. Bye, buddy. So yeah, happily ever after, he goes to the ranch. Hopefully he comes back a better person. <laughs> Not. <laughs> after nine days, his parents pulled him from the program because he complained of the cold and the boot camp conditions. <laughs> it's too hard for him, so he just cried home. Can, can we say we're surprised? So I guess we can assume that this situation is still just as shitty as it was to begin with. <laughs> Great episode. Great episode.